Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are about to start now the the next phrase, which I'm going to be writing them in uh, Arabic uh, text. Um, I write them on the board, and you try to read it as I'm writing. Then I come back to confirm your reading for you, inshallah. Right, let's start. Okay, I hope you are reading after me. Okay. Next one. So, Mother to Hebu, meaning, what do you like? Mother to Hebina, that's addressing a singular female. So, to Hebu becomes to Hebina. The response as a first speaker, first person, is the same for both male and female, as you know. Hebu Shai. I like tea. I love tea. Mada to Hibbu. Mada to Hibbina. Or Hibbu Shai. But I don't like coffee. What do you say? Walakin. Let's write it here. Walakin. So, wala. Walakin. La Ohebbo was coffee. Walakin la Ohebbo Kahwa. La Ohebbo Kahwa. Walakin la Ohebbo Kahwa. أحب الشاي ولكن لا أحب القهوة. Now, ولكن if you remember lengthening alif ولا آه. That's what you are hearing or what you are saying is this. ولكن ولكن That's what we say. And that's how it should be pronounced. Walakin. But this lengthening alif, one of the few Arabic words that you omit from it, the lengthening. The, the others will come. It's one of them. You say walakin, but you don't write it like that. You write it without lengthening alif. Walakin. So simply like this. Walakin. Kin, without the lengthening alif. There are other words as well, not many. I uh, will come across that and I will call your attention to them. But register this. You say, walakin, but you write, walakin, without lengthening alif. But you have to say it like this, walakin, but you don't write it with lengthening alif. Right, I, I thought I just mentioned that to you. Okay, make your note please on that one. Inshallah. The rest will come. Okay, we continue. Mada to Hibbu, O Hibbu, Mada to Hibbu, O Hibbu Shai, Mada to Hibbina, O Hibbu Shai, when I can allow Hibbu Kahwa, O Hibbu Kahwa, when I can allow Hibbu Shai. 
uh, you can only say well, I like tea with milk but without sugar. You know how to say that? وأحب الشاي بسكر ولكن بدون حليب or الحليب ولكن بدون سكر and so on. You've learned all those things. Main thing here really you are reading directly from the Arabic rather than transliteration. Okay, well done. Um, the the other thing I think you sh you notice uh, is the question mark. You know, for an English reader or English speaker, it's like uh, facing the wrong way. Uh, but that's the how it's done in Arabic. That's question mark. Um, the English, of course, as you know, is the, this way. So, but Arabic is the other way around. Okay. So that's the question mark. Alamat istifham. Mada to hebina, mada to hebu, hebu shai. ولكن لا أحب القهوة. Well done. Okay. The next one is ماذا and then we another action word verb. ماذا Let's try it. ماذا You know ماذا already. What about this? Two dots. Let's write the other one here. Maza to read you. Maza to read you. This is uh, speaking to a singular male singular female what would you like or what would you want what do you want so the idea of like and want you can use to read well what would you like what do you want talking to a man and talking to a woman mother to read mother to read the response both of them will say the same thing Uridu, I would like, or I want. Uridu, Uridu shy. Shy, which you know already. Uridu shy. How do you say please in Arabic? Uridu shy. So Uridu shy. Uh, what's please? Hmm. Try it for me. Uridu shai min fodlika or min fodliki. Fodlika if you are speaking to a man. Min fodliki if you are speaking to a woman. Uridu shai Min fodlik. Sometimes you have to say min fodlik just to mask the ending to make it neutral. Uh, so min fodlika or min fodliki if you want to go all the way. Or you can just say min fodlik. So it's understood. Uridu shai min fodlik. I would like tea, please. So mada to ridu, ya talib. Uridu shai min fodlik. Mada to ridina. يا طالبة أريد شاي من فضلك وأنت ماذا تريد وأنت ماذا تريدين What would you like? Do you like tea or would you like tea? How do you say that? Would you like tea? Remember we did it before هل So you can say هل تريد شاي Do you like tea? Do you want tea? Would you like tea? Hal to read shai? Hal to read kahawa? Shukran. Thank you. Uridu shai min fadlik. Yes, please. I need tea. I would like to have the tea, please. I would like to have tea or coffee or alma, water or al asir, juice, asir portokal, for instance. 
Well done. Right, let's move on. The next stage. Next action word, verb, that you've learned, we learn our hebbu. I like. You know, uridu, I would like. What's I prefer? Right, let's see. Um, read it for me, please. Ufaddil. So you can say Ufaddilu, of course, but you have to say Ufaddil. So Ufaddilu. I prefer what? Turidu uh, shay? La shukran Ufaddilu kahwa. I prefer coffee. Ufaddil shay banana, for instance. So Ufaddil. Shai Fodel Shai Binana B Bina Binana So Binana Yeah, the Binana E usually when you want to complete the whole thing Fodel Shai Binana the na na i but you just stop by imaginary sukun ufad bilu shai binana with mint ufad bilu shai binana or you can say ufad bil qahwa arabiya qahwa arabiya ufad bil qahwa arabiya or what other thing you can say ufad bil Al Asir, for instance, I prefer juice. Ufadil Kahwa Arabiya Ufadil Al Asir or Asir Burtukal. So Uhibbu Uridu Ufadil. And uh, the next one would be um, let's have a look at the, the, the next the next one. Now sometimes you say Ufadil. Sometimes you say uridu, and sometimes you might say uh, ufadil shai bi sukkar or bi biduni sukkar. Uh, what's biduni sukkar? Right, ufadil shai, mathala. You can say ufadil shai, shai bi sukkar. Bi sukkar. Yani bi sukkari. But you know, at the end, imaginary sukun is good. So, ufadilu shai. So you have your shedda there. Bisukkar. Rather than bisukkari. That's the complete pronunciation. But at the end, you know, try to just stop with uh, imaginary sukun. A shai bisukkar. Or shai biduni sukkar. Without uh, bisukkar, wa biduni halib. Um, be sukkar, be a shy be sukkar, well halib in this case. Let's say well halib and milk. Well halib, well halib. A shy be sukkar, well halib. Yani well halibi. Here we have a shy be sukkar, well halib. Or you can say without sukkar. Uh, bidun. Biduni Biduni Sukkar Biduni Sukkar Wa Halib Biduni Sukkar Wa Halib Biduni Sukkar Wa Biduni Halib So Biduni Sukkar Wa Biduni Halib Wa Bidun Halib Now let's learn another phrase which is or am is called in Arabic or uh, would you like tea with sugar or without sugar? Let's try that. Although you can use it by using your sound, your the way you say it, like in English. Uh, tea with sugar or without sugar? But 
it's better to use it with interrogative particle hell. So let's say hell. Hell to read. Shy. بسكر بسكر أم أو بدوني let's write that بدوني here or you can say it بدوني بدوني سكر Question mark. هل تريد الشاي بسكر أم بدون سكر or without sugar? Would you like tea with sugar or without sugar? So أفضل الشاي بنانا من فضلك. I prefer شاي بنانا. الشاي بسكر والحليب. That's chai, tea, sukkar, with sugar, and milk. Biduni sukkar, without sugar. Biduni halib, without milk. Hal to read chai bi sukkar, would you like tea, with sugar, am, or biduni sukkar, without sugar. Well done, that's good. So let's start now, new page. Is about personal pronoun. I write a uh, please as you have been doing very well. So read after me what I write. Okay, let's start. Okay, first one, second one, um, and the third one. Fourth, the last one, okay, let's read now, Anna, I or I am, Anna, so a male will say the same thing, if a male will say Anna, male will say Anna, I am or I, Anta, you, Male, singular, anta, you, or anti, you, feminine, singular, anti. Who are he or he is? It also means it or it is, referring to object or animal. Uh, for instance, mas that would be masculine. If, it, if the object is masculine, you use who are. For instance, like a book, uh, who a kitab, or animal, such so, as so a camel, jamal, for instance. So here is she, she is, or it, it is, referring to feminine object. Like for in cat, you will say here qitta, qittatun, and so on. Um, so any sayyaratun, for instance, sayyaratun, a car. So, sayyara, a car. So, you will learn more vocabulary. Anything which has been classified as feminine, you use here for. If it has been classified as masculine, you use hua. So, ana, anta, anti, hua, here. Now, let's now see, can you see the way you can use that in a, in a phrase? I can say, uh, how do I say who? Remember? Who? Okay. Um, I write it. Can you say it for me, please? That's man. Man. Who? What about this? I put slash.
من هذا من هذه من is who is this referring to a male من هذا you can say هذا معلم this is a teacher من هذا هذا معلم this is a teacher من هذه هذه معلمة this is a female teacher now هذا you see I'm saying ha there's a secret lengthening there it's what we're saying ha lengthening the and we are saying ha the he that's what we are saying but by convention this is another word that not many of them in Arabic I refer I mentioned to you earlier about walakin we have la but we don't write it we say we don't write the same thing as hada you say hada with lengthening but you do not write it you write it like you omit this alif so hada don't say hada la you need to say that lengthening hada but you do not write it like this hadhihi you say but you write it minus alif the lengthening alif so that's number two i mean three now you have walakin you have hadha you have hadhihi so man hadha man hadhi so i'm just to cross this out that you don't write it that way hadha hadhihi man hadha hadha muallim man hadhihi hadhihi muallimatun man anta meaning what man anta who are you uh, man anti who are you man huwa who is he man here who is she i hope you don't say man ana who am i so hopefully i know who am i uh, ana anta anti who are here man hada man hadhihi hadha muallim hadhihi muallimatun okay let's use hal in this uh, with this words now so we can say هل هذا آدم for instance I say now a name Adam so we say هل هذا آدم let's have a look at this you have هل if you remember I mentioned about هل before the job of hal is if we don't have a specific word or um, particle to ask a question, we use hal. The way it works is look at the positive. If you say hada Adam without hal, hada Adam, that means this is Adam. When you put hal before that, it becomes is this Adam? Is this Adam? And Adam, look at this weekly line on top of Alif. If you remember when we were learning the lengthening, I mentioned that that when you have lengthening Alif after Alif, you transfer that lengthening to be on top of it, become length, longer. Adam. Hal hada Adam. Hal hadhihi, and then feminine name. Hal hadhihi, Zainab. Hal. Hadihi Hal Hadihi Zainab Zainab Is this Zainab? Naam, yes, Hadihi Zainab. You can say Hal Anta Adam. Are you Adam? Naam, Anna Adam. Wa Anta Man Anta. Who are you? Yes. Hal anta Faisal? Uh, la. Ana Muhammad. Ana Saeed. Ana Muhammad. Hal anti Zainab? La. Ana Maryam. Ana Maryam. Or Ana Khadija. Or any other feminine name as you know. 
well done so that and that's the forest naam yeah you can see yeah we say naam do you know how to write naam naam oh let's let's try naam so naam 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 that's mean yes naam what about la that's simple lam fatha and then lengthening alif La, that's your lamb, and that's your fatha on the lamb, and you put your alif lengthening inside it. La, now, Anna, Hal Anta Tobib, are you a medical doctor? La, Anna Mualim. For instance, I can say, Anna Doctor Imran, I am Doctor Imran. Somebody say, هل أنت طبيب؟ Are you a medical doctor? لا أنا معلم Better than that أنا معلم I'm a teacher أنا معلم وأنت هل أنت معلمة؟ معلمة؟ Are you a teacher feminine؟ هل أنت معلمة؟ You can say لا أنا طبيبة I'm a medical doctor You say أنا معلم You say أنا طبيبة. I'm a medical doctor. And then we fat say, who is better? No, they are both doing a wonderful job. Huh? أنا طبيبة. هل هذه زينب؟ نعم. Or you can say لا. No. So that's another thing. So نعم or لا.